Hello, and welcome to my YouTube channel. Please ensure to like, share, and subscribe. And also click the bell notification in the top right hand corner to be made aware anytime I upload tutorials or videos to YouTube. Alright, let's craft together. Hey guys, today we're going to be sublimating two pillows that we're going to be putting together here. And I have my two sublimation blanks. And then I also have um, a sub 13 by 19 sublimation paper. Um, you'll also need a sublimation printer for this particular project. And then the images, the two images of choice that you want to place on your um, sublimation pillowcase blankets or blanks. Um, so without further ado, let's get our images together and let's get started. All right, guys, I'm going to replicate the um, way I do my images in Microsoft PowerPoint. The only thing I will not be doing with you is reprinting out the images, but I'll get you up to the point where all you have to do is click on print and put your paper in your printer and print your images out. All right. So in Microsoft PowerPoint, we're going to start out by going to design, slide size, custom, and you want to make sure that your width is on 13 by 19 if you're using a 13 by 19. If you're not, then you'll just type in whatever size your paper you're using, which again, I'm using Super B, which is 13 by 19, and I have it on portrait. Then I'm going to go in and I'm going to insert my images. I'm going to grab them from my desktop. And these are images that I created using the Discord server in mid journey so check out my youtube channel playlist for mid journey and you can learn how to also create your own digital art once you get your images in you want to go ahead and click on the images and you want to come here to this rotate objects and you want to click on that down arrow and select flip horizontal that's going to mirror your image let's go ahead and get our images mirrored click on the image which is going to take you to the picture format you're going to click on rotate objects and flip horizontal now we have our images mirrored okay the next thing is we're going to insert a rectangle and we're going to make this rectangle um, in size we're going to make it 12.95 by 12.95 okay so I'm just going to come over here and I'm going to do 12.95 by 12.95. <clears throat> and then I'm going to come down and I am going to take this shape and put it on transparent so that you can see through it. We want to be able to see our image. Okay. So I'm going to go ahead and copy that and paste it also to this one all right so what we're going to do is we're now going to take this image and make it our background we can move it around now because it's not our background our background is just this white slide but we're going to make the image our background and this is how i like to print larger in microsoft powerpoint all right so what i'm going to do is i'm going to just copy that image by right clicking and selecting copy and then i'm going to delete the image Okay, and then I'm going to come over to format background because again, we're going to make the image our background. So I'm going to click on picture or texture field and select clipboard. And it's going to put our image there because we copied our image first, which copied it to the clipboard. And now we're pasting it as our background. The next thing we're going to do is we're going to take and resize our background, our image to fit inside of this 12.95 12 by 12.95 rectangle so we're going to come down and you're going to come down to your offset left right top bottom and you're going to adjust this by clicking on the up and down arrows so we're going to use the offset left up arrow to bring that in towards the left so we can get all of her hair in the image 
and we're going to do the same thing with offset right use the up arrow and then we're going to also um, do the bottom now the bottom we're going to do the bottom first and then we'll do the top last okay so we're clicking on the up arrow and now we're going to go ahead and click on the down arrow for the offset top there we go once you get it all in you can go ahead and delete that rectangle but now we have our image where when we print it out on the 13 by 19 we know for sure that we have this image size within a 12.95 by 12.95 so that we're taking full effect of our um, slide okay we don't want to make it larger because if we get too big portrait um, height wise then it'll be too large for our pillow so to make it kind of fit like nicely in that middle I find that on this 16 and a half um, pillow that I'm using that 12.95 by 12.95 looks really nice in the center okay so we're gonna do the same steps here on this image we're gonna go ahead and copy the image right click copy and then you can delete the image you're then going to go over to picture or texture fill on the right here and select that and choose clipboard and then we're going to go ahead and we're going to bring that down now we can go in and just type these numbers in 224 and 33 and I'll show you how you do that I'm just gonna go here and take out that 3 and this one was 4 and this one was 33 and now we have the 22433 22 this one was a negative okay let's see we're gonna go up to get into the negative there we go and then we're gonna bring that down let's see if we got it okay we can't come down just a little bit because the hair we don't want it to all of the hair not to print out so that one would be negative two so we got two 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 and 34 but when we go back and put this over our image we can see that all of our image fits inside that 12.95 now I could go a little bit over on the on the left I'm going to put this back over like this and I'm going to come down and on the offset left I'm going to adjust that just a little bit because I do have enough room there we go so now we have both images ready to be printed out and they're part they are our background notice I cannot move that image that's because the image is the background same thing here the image is the background so at this point guys all you would do is just go ahead and you want to print each one of these separately I have 64 images within this deck so I don't want the entire deck to print out so I'm gonna go file print and then I'm using the Epson Works for 7720. I'm going to click on prop printer properties. I'm using paper cassette one and I'm using Super B, which is a 13 by 19. If yours doesn't have Super B, but it does print up to a 13 by 19, you can use user defined and then you can type in 13 by 19 manually. But I'm using Super B. I have it in the portrait position and I always make sure that my quality is over to the far right. I'm going to click on the more options and make sure that high speed is deselected and at this point guys all I have to do is click on OK and print now again I'm not going to reprint these because I've already printed them out but you're just going to load your a sub or whatever brand of sublimation paper you have load that 13 by 19 or whatever size make sure that the logo is facing up and then go ahead and place it in your printer and print that out and I'm gonna come up and show you what they look like printed out
All right, guys, I have my images printed out that I'm going to be using. So that's image one. And this is image two. And I'm going to be pressing these at 395 for 60 seconds. Um, I'm going to grab some heat tape as we're going to put heat tape in the middle. These are about 16 and a half by 16 and a half, guys, these um, pillows. And I'm going to, I think I have enough fiber fill to do at least one of them. So we'll do one. So here you can see the pillow and I'm going to, um, they're zippered right there on the side. So that's why I'll go in and add my fiber fill in there. So I think I'm going to have the zipper on the top, I think. So I'm going to go ahead and let me lower this so you guys can see here. It's going down. Bring this in here. Oh. All right, there we go. All right, so I'm going to grab some heat tape and I'm going to be placing these. I'm going to try to cut off a little bit more of that excess. Give me one second to grab some heat tape. So I printed these out in Microsoft PowerPoint, guys. And I'll use my Teflon to cover that. So I want to get these dead in the center of my pillowcasing thing here. Heat press is ready to go. I hear it keeps clicking over there. All right. So we're going to get this dead in the, try to get it in the center. Okay. I think that's good. And I'm just going to place one little piece of tape at the top and the bottom. We'll do one and then we'll come back and we'll do the um, other one. So I'm going to bring this back up here. Guys, give me one second. <clears throat> See if we can bring it over like this, like so. Like my thing back in so right there all right so here's my heat press we're going to go ahead and get this on like that i'm going to use teflon on top and i'm just going to add one little piece of parchment paper only because the teflon is not covering the entire image and we're going to press this at um 395 for 60 seconds all right and then i will come back when we're about five seconds out all right guys we're almost done here and Take a look, see here. Oh, it's so pretty. It's so pretty. I feel like I 
probably could go a little bit longer, but I'm not. I'm going to leave it at the $3.95 for 60 seconds. So here it is. Guys. So it's kind of like a canvas material. All right. So that's one. I'm going to go ahead and get the other one prepped here. And I'm just going to do it right here at the press so that I don't have to go back over to my table. So you guys can see both. Done. It's gorgeous. All right. So I'm going to have a zipper at the top. I'm going to cut around, cut around my image so I can get it as close to centered as possible. And it's okay to touch your image once that ink dries, guys. You just don't want to touch it too much while the ink is still wet. These are going to be so nice. All right. I'm going to place that dead in our center here. That looks good. I'm going to grab some heat tape. And again, we're going to put one at the bottom, one at the top. We're going to cover this with the Teflon again. And the parchment at the very top here. And we're going to go for another 60 seconds at 395. I need to loosen that thing, boy. All right, I'll come back when we're about five seconds out. All righty. Here is the second one. Turned out beautiful. And again, this is kind of like, hopefully you guys can see here, it's kind of like a canvas texture, which means that it's going to have more like a, um, a little bit more matte than glossy look to it because of the fabric, but it's gorgeous. All right. So I'm going to pause you for a second and then I'm going to stuff. All right, guys. So here are our designs again. So I'm going to stuff this one. This is the other one. Okay. So I have some fiber fill that I'm going to be using to stuff it just so you can get a feel for the finished look. Now when you're using this stuff guys, you really should pull it apart like this before you stuff it. You don't want to just take it out of the bag and push it right into the pillowcase, okay? Or the pillow. You want to pull it apart. That's what helps it to be kind of soft and not, you know, kind of like hard in one place. Let me open this up. All right, let me get it. There we go. All right, so we're gonna stuff this in. I want you guys to be able to see what it looks like. And again, break it up. Don't just take it out of the bag and put it in. You wanna break it up as much as possible. Let me make sure my heat press is off, guys. Hold on. All right. I can 
tell you that once I cut that heat press on, you guys chime in the comments on yours, but ooh, it gets hot in here in the little craft room. All right, break it up. If you wonder why your pillows, when you stuff them or your dolls, feel kind of funky and not soft because you're not breaking up your fiber feel before you put it in there. So we got that bottom half. And it looks like this might take up like I don't know half of a bag of fiber feel if not a little bit more it's my first time stuffing one of these pillows this big i did one last year that i did an image on but it was smaller all right wanted to look like little broken up clouds and i'm gonna have to sweep after this all right, it's gonna be cute. Thank God for another bag of fiber feel, right? I keep fiber feel on hand because I crochet dolls. All right, so when it comes out, guys, it's normally in a big lump and you just wanna start pulling it apart. Okay, to soften it up. And I didn't put anything down, but I probably should have put something down on the floor. I'll just have to sweep when I finish because you will get the little particles from breaking it up. But you want to break it up just like that. And then stuff. Okay. So that's about half there. So it may not take half a bag. Unless, it just depends on how full you want it, guys. And I just want mine to have the look of a pillow. It doesn't have to be, you know, super stuffed because I'm not going to have people laying on these or anything. They're just for visual only. Look at it. Don't sit on it. <laughs> Don't sit on my work of art, guys. <laughs> All right. So hopefully this will help you guys with stuffing. Some people who are professionals at pillow stuffing, let me know any tips or anything you can share with me. That will be greatly appreciated. And... Um... I started this out, guys. I did do the PowerPoint visual, but I have knocked my speakers off so much that they were super, super low. So you probably wouldn't be able to hear it. And I don't want people chiming in saying, you know, you're low. I know. <laughs> I know. As a content creator, baby, you have so many challenges sometimes and you just got to you just got to keep going. That's it. You can't you can't stop. You just got to keep going. All right. So, here we are so far. That's what it's looking like from the back. And the good thing, guys, is you can even put something on the back. You could do double images. You can do an image on the front, you can do image on the back, uh, and an image on the back. I said image on the front. Um, or, but you can do both. I just decided to do one um image on the front and that's it. <laughs> But you put phrases on the back, you know. So whatever works for you and stuff in your pillow works for me. So I think I will be able to get both pillows stuffed. So I'll stuff them both. And at the end of this video, I will post them so you can see it but I'm only going to do one with you all right so I'm going to finish this one up and then I'll do the other and then I'll post the visuals for you guys all right get that fiber feel broken up
think these are going to be so pretty. I'm thinking about putting one on my chase in my bedroom, though. I think that'll be pretty. All right, so I got just a little bit more room. You can see how full that is. So I have a little bit more room at the top. Like I said, this is for visual only. I'm not going to have anybody sitting on my pillows. Uh-uh, move that out of your way. Now you can sit down. <laughs> All right. But yeah, as a content creator, guys, you just got to keep going. Sometimes we have all kinds of stuff that will try to get in the way. And I know I've, I've had so many challenges since I moved into my new place. My laptop went on the blink. I need to get a new laptop. So the camera webcam on my laptop, I can't see myself when I'm recording like I used to be before I moved here. Now, I could just very well say, well, I'm just not going to record any videos right now. But you got to find a workaround, guys. You got to keep going. If you're going to be a content creator and this is what you want to do, you got to keep going. You can't give up. So I'm not going to let that stop me. Um, and so I got it to work. Not where I can still see, but, you know, I'll do a little pre-test to make sure everything is going to be included in the camera since I can't see it as I'm doing it. And then I'll go ahead and record. But then... My speakers started acting up that I bought so I'm not gonna buy new speakers I'm just gonna get a new laptop and be done with it um I think this will be the last part that I do because I think I have it pretty stuffed here and then I'll do the other one offline but stay tuned at the end because I will put both of them on there so you can see it all right, let's take a look. So here we have our pillow. And she looks amazing. All right, so it's not like super packed. I don't have it super packed, but it's soft and cushy. And that's because you break up that fiber feel before you put it into your, um, you don't want it to be like hard in one area. Okay, so you want to make sure you break it up. But there we have it. I'm going to do the other one offline, and then I'll post both. And then I will end this video, guys. All right, give me a moment. All right, guys, here's pillow number one. Done. And here is pillow number two. Done. All right, so I'll chime in in the comments, guys. Tell me what you think. So, um, again, for this project, I used a sub 13 by 19 sublimation paper, and um, I chose the images that I wanted to use, which I created in Mid Journey using the Discord server. And I heat pressed at 395 for um, 60 seconds, and I used some heat tape. And of course, your uh, again, these are like canvas, um, canvas material. Feels kind of like canvas material. All right, and I printed them out from Microsoft PowerPoint. All right, and then I used the polyester um, or polyfiber feel. You can get it at Walmart. And it took, for both of these pillows, it took about half a bag, which I think I'm going to go in and add a little bit more down here on the end, just to make sure that it's nice and fluffy. Um, but I think that's it, guys. Your sublimation paper, and I use my Epson Workforce 7720. Gorgeous. Gorgeous, gorgeous, gorgeous. All right, so chime in in the comments. Tell me what you think. Um... Again, I apologize that I wasn't able to use the Microsoft PowerPoint uh, portion that I created, but the volume was super low. Um, hold on, guys. All right, guys, I wanted to come back in so I could actually show you. But this is the polyfill that I use, Crafter's Choice. Um, dry polyester packing fiber fill. It says it's ideal for doll making. So I use it for the pillow as well. 
Um, but I get this at Walmart, and like I said, you can see I have a little bit over half a bag left. Um, but I also started with a little bit from a previous bag. So I would say it takes about half a bag for both pillows. And those pillows are 16, about 16 and a half by 16 and a half. Um, so yeah, so that's it guys. Um, image of choice. Um, I printed my images at, um, 12.95 by 12.95. I just made sure that it fit within a 13 by 13. Um, even though I was using 13 by 19 paper. Um, and then so I could get it centered. I didn't have any issues with the zipper because you guys saw that I pressed it with the full thing. So I didn't have any issues with the zipper closing or not being able to open due to the heat press because it is a plastic or it feels like a plastic zipper, but it may be, you know, heat resistant. Um, and then, um, yeah, so paper image of choice a sub paper is what i use 13 by 19 image of choice um and then your fiber feel and i use my epson workforce 7720 some heat tape and uh i pressed it at 395 for 60 seconds on both of them okay all right guys that's my story i'm sticking to it if you have any questions chime in in the comments um but if you all would like to see, um, you can go back to some of my previous videos where I've used PowerPoint to blow up an image or to do an image from there. So you can check my previous videos if you just really want to see it. Um, but I apologize for that part. But I know the volume is going to be super, super low and you're not going to be able to hear it. So anywho, that's it, guys. That's my story. I'm sticking to it. If you're currently in my Facebook group, Ken Doris is Cricket and Creative Crafters. I want to thank you guys so much for the support via Facebook. If you would like to join my Facebook group, it will be linked in the description of this video tutorial. All you have to do is click on that link and agree to the Facebook group rules. And then if you're currently subscribed to my YouTube channel, I want to thank you guys so much for subscribing to my YouTube channel. And if you like my method of teaching, then please like, share, and subscribe to my YouTube channel. And you guys know my motto is each one reach one so that each one can teach one. And you guys have an amazing day. Bye.